So it looks like George is gonna be driving his car. I'm gonna be driving this car. And I'm like, you better get all that stuff out of the car. I just got the paperwork. I essentially bought the car. Yay! Hello my sniffers, my name is Marlene McCohen and today something exciting is happening. Obviously you remember the parents of Isis have come upon hard times. I just got a call from George saying be ready in 10 minutes and I was far from ready. He got a car for them, I think. So we're gonna go down and see. They don't know anything about this because I never say things because what if it doesn't pan through? I don't like to over promise and under deliver. I'd rather be a good surprise. Before George yells at me and says let's go because I just heard him walk in and tell you real quick George has a lot of clients one of those clients is like a car towing place sometimes they have like old cars laying around for cheap the guy owed George money and actually if you guys remember Jasmine who called me about the African gray yeah Jasmine you probably don't know this but I'll tell you I actually contacted her and I said hey these other sniffers are on hard times do you have any ideas I don't know why I just thought she kind of would be the person that might know something and she said Said, yeah, you know, they could get a cheap car at an auction and this and that and I got to thinking George has that one client that owes him money Let's see what we could do. So I'm going to see what we could do yes. I don't see a red car. Oh, okay It's half red? Yeah, that's cute. Looks like they changed the light. stuff is in there. Well, this car seriously needs to be cleaned out. Making sure like the mechanics are good. So, well, on the cap, if you see that there's white like foam, then the head gasket might be gripped. Then there's water mixing up with everything. I mean, just little things. We're gonna check the oil, see kind of, but it seems like a good car. It's not making any noises that are bad. Oh yeah, try the air conditioning. It's about to be summer. It's good, it's good, it's cool. Yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Whoa, this car needs a cleanup though. You got a tape player. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? 2000. Okay. And it comes with a quarter tank of the uh, gas. What's the mileage on it? 177. There's some joints in here. George. There's there's roaches in this. I don't even know what that is. It means that she smoked weed. Well, all right, so what do you want to do? I mean, this is our only option. This is the only car available here, so, you know. She was living in her car. She was living in her car? I mean, she's got, I don't know, this is a very so messy it, person. Yeah, messy person. I mean, our car doesn't look the best right now either. Perfume. Okay, what's the verdict? Oh my God, there's a spoon in here. What is that? Just in case, you know. That's not like drugs, is it? Don't they like light up spoons? Because I know in a movie I did someone lit up a spoon. It might be. Yeah, that's it. That's actually a, uh, uh, what's it called? A crack pipe. What? Are you serious? It's a crack what pipe. What is that? Oh no. So I was right? That's what the yeah. spoon is for? The only reason I know that is because I did that one movie and we had a camera shot of that. This is really bad. Yeah, that's not so good. Okay. Kids, when you do drugs, you lose your car. You lose your life, you lose everything. Don't do drugs. No, absolutely not. You can't even drive that car around without being guilty. That's gotta be cleaned out. It's gotta be cleaned out no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, we'll toss this stuff. Okay. I thought it was a spoon to feed the baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So this car's gonna be good for them. I like it. Yeah, it's a good car. It's got character, you know? I don't know, I think it's, it's kind of like, you know, it's. It's getting out of, you know, it was left an uh, old home that was bad and abused. And now it's going to find a new home that's going to be for someone that really needs them. Yeah. It's good. It's got like this wink too. Look, come here. You see how one eye is clean? The other eye is kind of like... <laughs> well, this has probably been replaced. This is old. 
It's been through an accident in the front, but listen, it's it's a car that's gonna work. It's gonna get them where they need to go. You know, they'll be able to get it to where they need to go. It seems like functionally, the the technically the car is good. They won't have any problems. It sounds good, and then also the air conditioning works. In that's California, a that's a plus. You know, we're gonna have to throw that stuff out before we drive off this parking lot because you can't drive around Los Angeles with all that incrimination. What are you gonna say? Oh no, it's not me. It's like it looks like it's been used like so it's like like it's not like you just went to a store and you bought well, it. I mean what for one I'm not gonna be driving that car out you are what is that that looks like that was maybe heroin maybe or somewhat of a thing to they, and then this is for sure crack you watch a lot of breaking bad I think this is crack because you can see the crystals in this what are you the expert I don't know I've never done crack but I know what it kind of looks like it's either that or speed. I mean, it's not gonna kill me. You know, There's kind of like kid stuff in there too. That's yeah, terrible. She probably has a kid. Oh my god. Let's see what's in the back. We have a look at that. Scared. Might be a body. Stop. If... Oh my god. Oh my god. Literally, she had a baby. She had a kid. They like Spider Man. Okay. And balls. Oh, she has a CD changer. Oh, well, that's a plus. I don't know if it works. I think we should put it in there. Oh, it works! This is like a junk car reveal, you know, like show. Poor kid, man. I feel bad for him. He's going to school, trying to. This is, no, this is the, the, the girl that, that the car belonged to. Uh, she's trying to make good of herself, but she's got too much pressure. Probably the kid is like too much on her, you know? Like handling life and all together with everything. He must have lived in this car. Hey guys, so while George is out there sorting everything out with the guy that owns this place, George opened the trunk of the car. You could really get a peer into the life of somebody else. And just from that stuff in the back, we're able to piece together an entire story. And it's just like, I feel like we've been on this journey of people going through hard times. And yeah, aside from obviously the drugs in the car, there's also a story. It's somebody who tried to keep renting their place and couldn't. You could see that from paperwork. Somebody who tried to get government help and couldn't. There's papers that her child was taken away or that they were trying to take her kid away. There was homework. This person was trying to go to school and then there was a piece of writing there about being in jail and being worried about her baby and never thinking that doors would close behind her and I just realized so many people have so many doors closed behind them. Can't judge anybody else's life really. I said this in another previous video but you just honestly can't judge. You hope that everyone does the right thing. I hope that this car comes with a certain amount of good luck in its new home. That's what I hope. I don't know if you guys remember the Starbucks analogy I gave where if I only have five dollars in my bank account my mentality was that I could at least get Starbucks or whatever. Not just Starbucks, something that I wanted for five dollars, you know? I always had that mentality, everything's gonna be okay. And it's like, imagine how privileged five dollars can be. You just never imagine, you know? It's hard because, you know, I also want the person that had this car to have the car, you know? But it's gone, it's done. They haven't had the car in a long time, obviously. I just wish everyone the best. I hope we can put some sort of positive blessing on this car going forward for the people that have had it and the people that are going to have it. So it looks like George is gonna be driving his car. I'm gonna be driving this car. And I'm like, you better get all that stuff out of the car. I just got the paperwork. I essentially bought the car. Yay! I'm gonna take the car now and get it a car wash. Automatic seats, my car doesn't even have that. Cause you know, Mini Cooper wants to be all like vintage. All right, I'm at the car wash. I'm gonna get the car clean. I'm trying to like clean the car before they clean it. George gave me these wipes just to like, like look at how bad this is. The car wash is taking a long time and I have a massive headache and so does George cause we got so excited about the car that we ran out without eating and I ran out without my tea. And even though I was Starbucks sober, I'm breaking that right now to cure my headache. Okay, we're gonna see how the car looks. Let's look at it. Much better. Nice, right? Yeah. George was very particular and gave them extra cash to make it better. Oh, much better. Much better. This is good. 
So we got a nice clean car. Now I just gotta help them get it registered. Okay guys, give me a minute to talk seriously to you. Here are the birds, I love the birds. Not my birds, but the birds outside. I have to say something, it's really important because for any of you kids out here watching, I want you to listen to me very carefully. But just to give you reference, those of you who follow the news, today when I woke up, I found out that there was a mass shooting in a mosque in New Zealand. Like I told you guys, I ran out of the house today. Like I kind of saw it on my phone and I didn't really get to look at the rest of it and find out in more detail. And usually I'm very on top of that kind of stuff. And George, you know, called me and was like, be ready in five minutes. And because of that, I left my phone inside all day today. So I haven't been with it. I missed people that were supposed to come to the house. I can already see that packages were attempted to be left and they're not here. So I didn't really have access to anything, but when I got in the car, George was just shaking and I was like, what's going on? He's like, I just have so much anxiety. Did you hear what happened today in the mosque? And I'm like, I heard a little, but I didn't know anything. And he goes, there's a video and it was live. I made the mistake of looking at it and it was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. I'm just thinking, what is the world coming to? I guess what I want to tell you guys is that we can't hate. If one particular person has done something to you, you cannot hate an entire group of people, whether that be a religion, an ideal, a sexual preference, a political view. These things do not define people and they don't define people's hearts. For those of you young viewers watching me, I wouldn't be here where I am today if I had hatred in my heart for any human being on in this world. You cannot categorize people and it's just terrible. It's important that you guys spread love. It's important that you have the tools to work out your differences. It's important that you understand how to have educated conversations with people. It's also important you don't just read headlines. Go back and read speeches. Read everything in its entirety. Reading will set you free. I'm not a political person at all, mostly because I don't feel like I know enough to ever comment on certain things. I believe that everything you speak about, you should be well educated about, which is why I'm very passionate about the things that I am interested in. And I'm interested in a lot of things. I get very bothered by people speaking on and to things that they don't know about and making judgments. And I think it's important for you guys and you kids to know this world can be a terrible place if you don't have friends. Everyone deserves a friend and everyone deserves understanding. I'm very anti-bullying. It's a pretty big deal for me. I'll probably tell you why in another video. And I think you'd be surprised to hear why because it's from a completely different perspective. But this all really falls into the same category of hating and judgment and assumptions. Assumptions really bother me. Being someone who is presumptuous or someone that assumes things is being extremely uneducated. It's socially dangerous and it's it's just wrong. So my message here, find a way to spread love. Find a way to understand people. Find a way to be open to what people tell you besides having your ideals and waiting to project them on people. So please, young kids, those of you that are watching me, please go try to be a friend to somebody today. Stand up for somebody being bullied. The most valuable thing you can ever be to anybody as a friend. Okay, that's it. Kind of excited about this car though. All right, I love you guys. Don't don't forget to subscribe, you know, share it with somebody, but the most thing you can do for me today is go out and be somebody's friend and spread some love and try to educate yourselves on other people's circumstances. Anything. Start with that.